Now, the black and white birds synonymous with the icy polar regions, penguins, have now become the new bioindicators for understanding climate change. For the last few years, scientists have been studying penguins in Antarctica to try and understand the impact of global warming. Studying the icy Antarctica is not an easy job, but believe it or not, penguins make it easier. Their nest on land and their black feathers and their waist can be spotted against the white expanse, which is exactly why scientists turn to these birds to study the changes in our ecosystem. Two such polar ecology researchers are Michael Wettington and Alex Borovich. Borovich of Stony Brook University in New York has said that they are counting penguin nests to understand as to how many penguins are in a colony producing chicks every year and whether that number is going up or going down with the environmental changes that are taking place. When climate conditions change in the icy caps, some breeds in fact shift to even colder conditions. For others, it opens a new habitat. Two such breeds are the Gentoo penguins and the Adelie penguins. The Gentoo penguins are known to dislike the sea ice. So the regions in the Antarctic that are bearing the brunt of global warming where ice is melting has seen an increasing number of Gentoo colonies. But the same conditions have been worse for the Adelies. The seemingly tuxedo-wearing penguins rely on sea ice for breeding and feeding. Now, Weddington has said that when we find Adelaide penguins, we typically know that the sea ice is nearby. And whenever we've seen the sea ice declining or disappearing altogether, then we're seeing a corresponding Adelaide penguin population decline substantially. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.